It's only been a few weeks since the deadline for Bondix's season one airdrop passed and it's already time for some more good news. But before we get to that, as always, let's get the usual disclaimer out of the way first. Everything I share in this video is my personal opinion and in no way financial or professional advice of any kind. You should always do your own research, consult certified professionals, draw your own conclusions and make your own decisions. My name is Christian Rauchenwald and in today's video we are going to quickly cover the recent news around Bondex regarding the upcoming exchange listing of the BDXN token and some positive news regarding the latest Bondex airdrop event as well. If you don't know Bondex yet, it's a mobile app that allows you to earn BDXN tokens in a roundabout way by pressing a button once per day within the app that grants you bond points, which users can then use to participate in airdrops to receive BDXN tokens. Now, before we talk about the upcoming exchange listing and some changes regarding the vesting schedule that applies to BDXN tokens users will receive from the airdrop that I covered in a video that you can, by the way, check out by clicking on the card up here. Here's your reminder to like, subscribe and enable notifications so you don't miss out on future updates. With all of that out of the way, let's talk about Bondex and their upcoming exchange listing. First, I don't know why, but I constantly keep messing up the official Bondex token since for me the logical token name would be BNDX, but somehow the official token name ended up being BDXN. While that doesn't make a huge difference, please forgive me if I have called it BNDX instead of BDXN in the past and likely will keep making that mistake in future videos as well. That said, it's been around two and a half years since I originally covered Bondex in a video that you can also check out by clicking on the card up here. And after all this time and a lot of progress and changes, some of which I don't fully agree with, it's finally time and Bondex announced that the official Bondex token BDXN will be listed on at least one exchange on the 10th of July 2024, so within the next couple of weeks. And while we don't know yet which exchange it's going to be, if we consider the, in my opinion, insane costs that tier one exchanges like, for example, Binance are charging, I doubt that it will be any of the top exchanges. Not that that really matters because at the end of the day, the listing itself, even if it's on one of the smaller exchanges, is a huge step in the right direction. That also brings us directly to the news regarding the first Bondex airdrop that happened just recently. After all, it doesn't help much if BDXN gets listed on an exchange if you don't have any BDXN tokens in the first place. The first piece of news regarding the airdrop is that the airdrop claim portal, which originally should have launched on the 20th of June, will instead also go live on the 10th of July to coincide with the exchange listing. Besides that, the team also made a surprisingly positive adjustment to the vesting schedule for BDXN tokens that users will receive from that first airdrop by reducing the vesting period from initially 20 months to only 9 months. This means that users who receive BDXN tokens from this first airdrop event will get access to those tokens 11 months sooner than originally expected, which I'm sure is something each of the more than 123,000 airdrop participants will appreciate. Considering that all that's left now besides waiting for the 10th of July exchange listing and launch of the airdrop claim portal is hoping that the team listens to the community and adjusts the requirements for the next airdrop to not require users to have a certain number of referrals anymore and to reward all users based on their participation in the Bondex ecosystem and not only for getting new users to join the project. To that end, I recommend that you leave a review for the Bondex app and or share your feedback with the Bondex team on the official Discord to let them know what you think of their airdrops requirement if you haven't already done so. And if you don't know what I'm talking about right now, I recommend that you first click on the card up here and watch my recent video which explains the season one airdrop in detail as well as the requirements that I think shouldn't be there for the second and any future airdrops. That's however it for today. As mentioned, make sure to like, subscribe and enable notifications so you don't miss out on future updates. And if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Or even better, use the link in the video description down below to join our community on Discord and discuss Bondex and other projects with me and the community there. Thanks for watching. See you in one of my other videos. Till then, bye bye.